ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ನಮಃ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪಿ ಕೆ ವಾರಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡೆತ್ ಆನಿವರ್ಸರಿ ಅ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಫೈಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ popularizing ayurvedic medicines around the world he received the kerala sahitya academy award as well as the padma bhushan and padma shri award wishing that may his blessings be always with us let us begin with our session today with dr pushkala madam on the topic endometriosis before we begin i request all the uh, delegates to mute their gadgets until the session is completed by our speaker if there is any problem in between kindly in a, kindly check your network first and uh, if it is okay then please do inform us i i welcome dr pushkala madam and all the delegates to the session namaste madam welcome uh so very happy to be a part of this again one do enandre years back 2006 to 9 was my pg okay so during that time when we were getting ug i did not see much of uh, gynic cases i started learning gynic only during my internship from tv i learned only during internship only the theory part was done in bms because we didn't have many gynic cases we had lots of kc cases varieties of cases our college was very famous for that sjs but the gynic was totally uh, not there so when i started my pg we were getting hardly one or two cases of endometriosis if at all there is a case our lecturers used to call us hey bunny endometriosis case bandide the nodi bunny anta so endometriotic cyst thumba common ittu than any other form we were only seeing hemorrhagic cyst used to no we were not seeing much of other cases adenomyosis la kuda nodide illa during that time but off late if you see uh number of cases are increasing like this not like this it's just increasing like this so num- everybody will have endometriosis in their uh, clinical practice right so many cases are there now especially uh, very young women also are getting so previously we, we used to see endometriosis in sexually active females right around the 30s we used to see but now young girls adults and girls also we are seeing endometriotic cyst and all so what is the change that we are seeing here first of all what is endometriosis so generally uh, this is what my understanding is uh, we can say it is vataja yoni vyapat that is also given in textbook tiwari they compare it as vatik vatiki yoni vyapat but if you go in detail the starting point is vatiki that is you will see that there is retrograde menstrual flow one of the theories of formation of endometriosis is retrograde menstruation there are many theories so one of the theory is retrograde menstruation that we are seeing as udavartana of vata right so when udavartana of vata occurs what will happen the menstrual fluid which was supposed to come down goes through the tubes into the pelvic area so the, this is one of the theory that's all so we also see that udavartana occurs and uh, because of that there is formation of vatiki yoni vyapat that's what we can we can think and vatalahara chesta the person should be of vatalahara chesta uh, you know and uh, you know excessive uh, vata jab aahara vihara is considered as one of the main reasons that also we are seeing initially we will see different kinds of things but later what will happen if you see the vatiki yoni vyapa chikitsa though they say it is vataja chikitsa in the chikitsa they have mentioned about um dashamula kshira kashaya vasti okay dashamula kshira kashaya will get reference once again in uttana vatrakta where they say dashamula kshira kashaya seka has to be done okay in uh, cellulitis considering it as uttana vatrakta i have done in very uh, you know many cases dashamula kshira kashaya seka immediate inflammation will come down so it is it acts as highly anti inflammatory so if that change can be seen within one day itself so what my understanding is 
maybe they are hinting that there is involvement of rakta also of course there is rakta involvement because the menstrual fluid is involved there the more it proliferates every cycle there because of the rakta lakshana adhesion starts to form right when the adhesion is forming we will see that there is anatomical change and we will need lekana type of medicines there not in the initial stage so when when you see that there's a condition we will start with lekaniya aushadha also along with vata pittahara aushadha so just 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 i will present in this once again idu kile porathile na adunna and foot to One second. Mm. One second. No? Mm. Okay, I'm not able to present here. When I would do that. ിൽ <laughs> high prevalence especially now it is around 10% high prevalence of uh, endometriosis in women with pelvic pain and infertility ranges from 20% to 90% in asymptomatic cases it ranges from 3% to 43% and uh, especially there are lots of surveys conducted uh, in foreign countries where they say this becomes one of the important reason for suicide cases okay so uh, pain is worse in many cases uh, very worse and especially in uh, adenomyosis it is much more worse than endometriosis so what we have to know the staging we'll have to know because at least to explain the patient and to know the prognosis uh, we will need this staging uh, we minimal we see that there are only superficial lesions and uh, pelvic walls and pouch of douglas are only involved and stage 2 is mild where we see that along with superficial lesions there are more than 5 mm deep infiltration that is the deep lesions we say that will be there in stage 3 endometriosis which is moderate we see that this includes endometriosis and endometriomas where endometrioma is uh, ovarian endometriosis is formed here in stage 3 adhesions are there between the ovaries and uterine wall sometimes we see that the ovaries are adherent to the uterus sometimes the ovaries go beyond and gets adhered into the left ovary if it is right it will get adhered to the left or vice versa and sometimes the endometriotic lesions of the uterus maybe because of the scar endometriosis it gets adhered to the total anterior abdominal wall also so and stage 4 This is very severe. Here, the pain is very severe. Adhesions are uh, too high. Adhesions everywhere will be present, and severe damage to the pouch of Douglas happens, and it will also involve both bowel and bladder. So, when it uh, when it involves the bowel and bladder, what will happen? we will see symptoms involving bowel and bladder so uh, many people will have dysuria sometimes interrupt interrupt ma uh, so nimdu idu screen sharing hogide yes yes ma'am uh, i will discuss and then on it again ma'am okay ma'am thank you okay, okay thank you ma'am so uh, that will happen and then what will happen we will see that uh, when especially around the period the pain pain like either it can be dysuria or it can be dyskinesia there will be pain during defecation also sometimes what will happen there will be severe constipation 
or excessive loose motion before the period. With pain, it will happen. So this also shows that there is involvement of bowel and bladder in the endometriosis. Apart from that, what we can see, when you do a pervaginal examination in the pouch, that's the first point, you know, because even in the mild cases also, pouch of Douglas will be affected. So when you do a pervaginal examination in the posterior fornix, we will see that there are few nodules formed or you will see that the mobility of the uterus around that area will be a little compromised. So that is something which is very, very common symptom. And when you do a perspicular examination, you may see uh, uh, kind of uh, bluish, violetish, uh, red spots on the cervix. So that will be very prominent. It's not like cervical erosion. Very prominent dots will be seen. They are all endometriotic dots. Okay. And sometimes it will be at the, uh, you know, opening of cervix only. Internal or, uh, or external or opening itself, you will see that. So that will be seen. So these are all some external things. And then coming to bimanual examination, the mobility will be painful uh, because of the adhesions. When you try to move uh, in bimanual examination, uterus will be immobile or partially mobile. Even if it is partially mobile, it will be painful. Okay. In cases of severe adhesion, there will be formation of adhesions around the tubes. So what will happen? She may have a good uterus. She may, she may not have an endometriotic cyst in the ovary. She might be ovulating well. But the, uh, you know, the fallopian tubes will become crooked because of pelvic adhesions. The tube will not maintain its posture like this. So it will become crooked like this so that the movement of uh, either, if, if, if it all zygote is formed, it will not move into the uterus or sometimes it may lead to tubal pregnancy or it may lead to infertility also. So all this uh, uh, inflammatory changes in the pelvic area will increase infertility because they all give out some cytotoxins which will uh, impart infertility in the patient. So 20 to 80 percent of the infertility cases, we will see that there is some or the other involvement of endometriosis, pelvic or uh, uterine endometriosis is seen. This is very common clinically. Another one what we see is that, uh, uh, you know, the, sorry, one second. The patients will have severe low back pain and a severe dysmenorrhea. One, one important uh, uh, symptom that we see is this dysmenorrhea goes on increasing in intensity on every cycle. So this cycle, if the patient comes with uh, a severe pain and the next cycle, it will be much more worse. It will, unless until we intervene, it will just it will just keep on getting worse uh, cycle by cycle. That is one. And uh, in adenomyosis, in many cases, I have seen uh, many number of cases who come after uh, DNC and they end up in adenomyosis. Many cases have come like this. Uh, you know, they have a proper period, but then either for diagnostic lapros or diagnostic DNC, or maybe that particular period they would have had a heavy bleeding, they would go for DNC. Nowadays, not many people are opting for it, but uh, we used to see so many cases, one, two years back also, I'm telling. So after DNC, from that very next cycle, the pain starts. And then two, three cycles down the line, when they go for scanning, why the pain is there, okay? They go for scanning, they'll see that there is formation of adenomyosis. That's a very, very, very common one. So because why? Because uh, when you are doing DNC, if this endometrium is, uh, you know, scraped till the bottom layer, this will actually infiltrate endometrium into the myometrial uh, layer. So that will cause adenomyosis, which will be very, very, very painful. So this, this is a very uh, in clinic, general clinical presentation that we see. Endometriotic cyst. Sometimes, you know, we will see the endometriosis is too high, but the patient will not have any symptoms. Okay, some cases are there all like that. No pain at all, but uh, damage will be done internally and the infertility will be there. Uh, you know, I think we, we have to consider that as their uh, good luck that they don't have pain. One second, I'll present now. So the symptoms of endometriosis can be variable. The degree and extent of endometriosis has no relation to the symptoms. That's what I told you. Know? So we see some scanning, we'll see, oh, there's a huge endometrioma. 
and then uh, we see that in laparoscopy also there are lots of adhesions but then uh, the patient may be totally asymptomatic also symptoms regularly seen are chronic pelvic pain very 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 common is chronic pelvic pain dysmenorrhea will be there dyspareunia will be there dyskesia will be there and uh, dysuria sometimes menorrhagia is also very very common increased incidence of infertility will be there uh, in case of dyspareunia it will be deep dyspareunia in cases of both adenomyosis as well as endometriosis coming to investigations and findings there is tenderness in pelvic region when you examine when you do a pervaginal examination you will feel that there is nodules in pouch of douglas reduced uterine mobility is seen uh, perspiculum may reveal bluish spots in posterior fornix as well as in cervix gold standard investigation is laparoscopy because you will directly see all uh, spots will be there and then you will see adhesions directly so laparoscopy is the gold standard but we will not advise for many patients unless until it is very mandatory usg reveals ovarian endometriomas only usg reveals only uh, ovarian endometrioma because adhesions are not seen in uh, usg pelvis and uh, sometimes we will get confused between adenomyosis and uh, starting stage of intramural fibroid also so that is one again a very big confusing factor though the radiologist may write it is a uh, you know uh, sub uh, uh, intramural fibroid you will actually land up having all adenomyotic symptoms so ca125 we'll see that it is increased it is not ca125 is a test to see to confirm only it is not uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you cannot decide that it is a endometriosis based on CA125 because any pelvic uh, inflammatory condition will cause increased in uh, value of CA125. And CA125 is a uh, cancer marker. So in ovarian cancers and uh, conditions, you will find that it is a, it is remarkably high. So around here, here in endometriosis, you will see it around 150, 120, like in that range you may see. It will be it will be more than 20s in uh, you know um, endometriosis especially endometriotic cyst there is ovarian endometrioma coming to adenomyosis it is same uh, endometriosis but here the endometriotic cyst is growing inside the myometrial layer it's also called as my endometriosis interna so repeat childbirth is there uh, but uh, we have seen that it is uh, mainly because of dnc many 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 patients have seen perfectly all right uh, before uh, dnc and then land up in uh, adenomyosis after dnc so many cases we see in uh, practice even in adenomyosis there are two types one is diffuse type where the whole uterus is painful whatever you do if you do examination also it is painful because it's a diffuse endometriosis adenomyosis localized also sometimes it is seen a bit rare but nowadays we are seeing this also localized type where the adenomyotic lesions are only on one side of that wherever that you know adenomyotic lesions have formed only that myometrial layer will go on increasing in size that's a localized type of adenomyosis here also we see severe dysmenorrhea is seen suicidal pain that is described as in adenomyosis we see that dyspareunia will be there because the whole uterus is inflammatory and uh, frequent urination is seen because directly the pressure will be over the bladder so that is seen infertility is again see endometriosis also conception can happen uh, but adenomyosis conception is a bit difficult if it is generalized adenomyosis local adenomyosis also it can conceive but generalized we are seeing that unless until there is a regression of adenomyosis the patient is not conceiving it's not the case in endometriomas if there is an endometriotic cyst also the patient can very well conceive okay but adenomyosis we see generally uh, most of the cases not all most of the cases they conceive after there is a regression in adenomyosis there are few cases who conceive with adenomyosis also so only we can produce uh, treatment because uh, the only definite treatment advised is uh, you know hysterectomy only so but in those cases we we can provide wonderful result usg abdomen can be seen 3d ultra 
ultrasound with color doppler is very much advised because you will know whether there is a blood supply to that area and all and the mri is seen so how we uh, consider uh, endometriosis and adenomyosis in the beginning we see that it is vata dittaja later it will go on to become tridoshaja that's what my understanding is so when we see that a particular tissue is going to another place what should happen effectively our immunity should fight with it but it does not happen in endometriosis so there is some or the other way we see involvement of arm also here so we give tikta pachana not kat pachana we also go for anulomana because apanavata pratiloma gati or udavartana is considered as one of the reasons so anulomana is given lekana aushada are given in the later stage so in the initial stage when the patient is having mild endometriosis in those cases lekana need not be given and we will not give uttaravasti also in those cases unless until adhesion is formed and then you need to clear the adhesion we go or else plain after giving deepana pachana we can play give yoni pichu itself will be more than enough and now we have made uh, yoni varti i am very eager to try that also as of now i till now i have not tried i have gone only with uh, uh, yoni pichu tiktakam uh, kashayam guglu tiktakam kashayam vasa guduchi adi kashayam these are uh, you know uh, these are the general kashayas that we use tikta pachaka and i use md4 to thaila extensively because directly yoni shula hara is the property of mundi so as such mundi is ushna so we have added mundi danyaka tilataila when you keep give pichu there is pain relief within one day in chronic uh, pelvic pain also and uh, we use uh, vikrantha basma trivanga basma abraka basma all or lekana and uh, shroto shodaka we also use swarnabasma in some cases where we find that in the initial stage uh, when we give swarnabasma the spread also can be avoided so uh, we also go for panchakarma mainly virechana but in cases where there is endometriotic cyst very pretty big in that case if you are increasing abdominal pressure there are chances that it may go into torsion so in those cases we will avoid and we go for plain virechana only i mean sorry vasti only vasti also in the initial stages we can go for kshiravasti but uh, the pathetic situation is that we don't get much of the cases in initial unless until they come for some other problem we diagnose that it is a endometriosis we don't get endometriosis in the initial stages we always get the patients after there is thick adhesion formation so we need to go for lekan vasti so here i want to add uh, surendra sharma sir used to give uh, his sir has uh, uh, you know given a formulation where he told to use tila krishna tila lotus seed and sugar in equal quantity okay for endometriosis this will control the menorrhagia also and it is very good for endometriotic cyst also so this is the formula given by surendra sharma sir all in equal quantity a uh, half teaspoon uh, twice a day we can take so that is one and then uh, my guide dr vijay lakshmi madam uh, so ma'am used to give uh, uh, vajrabasma with vata vata uh, is the main ingredient that she uses ashwagandha vata and uh, vajrabasma she uses it is also very good effect uh, in uh, curbing the spread as well as in healing the endometriotic lesions also i generally go for a combination of based on the case we generally go for a combination of pushyanuga along with vikrantha or abraka and uh, if needed uh, i also add swarnabasma so i just want to uh, frozen pelvis is a condition where you see that there's a fourth stage of endometriosis where adhesion formation has happened throughout okay the uterus is in the middle in the front there is bladder back there is rectal area and whole you know even given the tubes if peritubular additions everywhere addition is formed so badly that any movement will cause pain frozen is it is just frozen to that level where there is no movement you know you freeze something you know it will just got frozen 
there's a meaning of frozen pelvis it's a fourth degree endometriosis uh, in all these years of practice i had a luck to see one case of frozen pelvis pretty rare condition and uh, this patient came to me with severe pain severe pain she was on two or three painkillers one uh, per rectal also her uh, relative was in uh, one of my student in sdm so this patient was from mysore so she came and took the treatment it was actually a case of infertility one tube one ovary was already removed and uh, you know what she was advised she was advised to remove the other ovary also and they said that they will clip the tubes and give a uh, harm one second they'll give hormonal uh, supply, supply, uh, supplements and they asked her to go for IVF with donor egg. So, see, many times I feel going to that extent in infertility, you can actually adopt a child, right? So, that, that was a condition when she came. Uh, I could not treat her infertility because oh, by the time she came to me, her AMH was uh, 0, 0.0 something. So, almost in the menopausal level only. But quality of life, within one month, we improved her quality of life. Uh, when she came to me, uh, she was in a very, very, very bad situation. And she was ready to take whatever medicine that we give. I just gave her Guglu Tiktakam Kashayam and Kaishor Guglu. Asked her to come back after 15 days for getting admitted in, uh, you know, for uh, Lekhanavasti. So when she came, by the time she came, she was kind of half okay. This case, I wanted to mention here, uh, this is one case which I generally present in, in many success stories. So when we did a pervagenal examination, we, we, can, we can directly see what is all mentioned in the textbook. Kara, uh, you know, that uh, uh, as if we were putting a finger in the concrete, I could not do a pervagenal examination with two fingers. Only one finger was inserted. And that also, it was literally not like vagina. It, no softness at all. It was karasparsha totally and uh, very painful to the patient. I asked one of my uh, uh, intern to check. So I did not remember who that intern was. This patient remembered because during when she was admitted also, she was taking care of the patient. So after one month when she came back, after one set of vasti when she came back, we did pervagenal examination. Very pleasant surprise that it, we were, uh, you know, able to do a normal provisional examination. No pain and normalized vaginal tissue. That karasparsha was not there. And uh, I wanted very badly for my student to see that. So I, though I do not remember this patient, remember, we called the student again and made her also examine the patient. So that gives confidence to the students also, right? So that wonderful change within one month. She went back to having normal intercourse. Nothing was possible. She was a teacher. She left her job. She was totally on bed because any moment was causing pain. She was always on the bed with a hot water bag. That was a pathetic situation she came. Now uh, it's been four, four years plus I treated her. Till still we are in contact. The patient is very, very healthy. She is working as a kindergarten teacher in Pondicherry now. So, so much of enthusiasm, so much of you know life is back to track for her and uh, this is one wonderful case which i will remember throughout my life i think so if you see this here it is mentioned in the yeah the third pick can you see frozen pelvis is mentioned because everywhere there is adhesion adhesion analysis is done but then again it was forming so uterus is very much bulky when when we give when we gave vasti and the patient got pain relief her brother was a allopathic doctor, cousin. So he was like, maybe they are giving you some other medicines. I'm literally scared. The patient was so confident on me. She said, no, no, whatever the doctor is giving, even poison, I'll take. So uh, see here, though the uh, you know bulky uterus is there, we saw that there is total pain relief. This is the treatment that I have given. She has written in her own words. Drastically, it was coming down and... She, she came back to normal life. We have given her Vasti, Prakshalana, Pichu, Abhyanga. That, uh, that was the treatment that we gave. And this is one more case. No, the same case. Uh, this is 
there is a case of adenomyosis if you see uh, this is the yeah so 9.7 into 7.2 into 5.8 was the uterine size huh? okay and we see that uh, one side it is uh, uh, you know almost a centimeter increase but other sides it is decreased and uh, remission adenomyosis in remission so this patient uh, is a middle aged female having severe pain during uh, her periods uh, her daughter was my patient so she got her mom uh, to get treated within see severe dysmenorrhea was there within uh, you know first cycle of vasti itself there is a immediate relief uh, we did vasti for two cycles the patient is all right there is one more case which is very close to my heart this was the case where i i never i never thought endometriosis could be treated in a month so 15/3/2016 uh, was the uh, you know date here before report the patient came to me uh, socio economically little backward and then when she came she was totally uh, you know depressed and saying that uh, they are planning for a second marriage for you know husband and all all those things were there but then i was on the way to delhi to attend my brother's uh, sorry chennai to attend my brother's marriage so i had lots of work i said uh, treatment is not possible i just gave her md for thyla aspichu and internally i gave her uh, md those time it was not capsule it was kwata churna only i gave her to drink kashaya and gave this that's all i gave her i said i'll come back in one month i mean 15 20 days i asked her to come back after a month to do a review so this was done on 15 3 if you see bulky right ovary this ovary is so bulky it is retroplexed and is attached to the left ovary right ovary is bulky measuring 78 into i'll make it a little big Uh, is it clear a little bit better than last time? I think. Sure. Right. Uh, right. The ovary is bulky, measuring 78 into 64 mm in size. Retropulse. There it is. It has gone back, back, back side. Retropulse. Right? Located adjacent to posterior aspect of uterine fundus, and shows a medium sized 60 into 46 mm thin walled cyst with homogeneous low level internal echoes and multiple fine internal septation. and this is very important because many a times they will not mention what kind of cyst it is if the cyst is clear cyst it is not a endometriotic cyst if it is as internal septations and if it has some uh, you know uh, sh shadows present inside it then it is generally considered as a endometriotic cyst another similar cyst so there were two cyst another similar cyst noted measuring 27 into 25 mm in size normal capsular vascularity is noted left ovary is located normally in position but abutting the bulky right ovarian mass so almost this right ovary is so big it has gone beyond behind the uterus and it is abutting the left ovary it is pushing the left ovary also so much big it was and uh, left ovary measures 36 into 21 which is a pretty normal size a little bigger but pretty normal size so uh, they have written uh, the report 15 3 2016 the next report is on 22 6 2016 but if you see her lmp is 28 4 2016 15 3 she came 28 4 was her lmp second i mean when she came uh, uh, she already had period then again one more cycle on april and that cycle she had conceived she has again scanning on 22 6 2016 where if you see see the ovaries both the ovaries are normal in size so this is something which which uh, i was so surprised pleasantly surprised myself and uh, i started believing in uh, md fort uh, basically because i started using mundi only after the advice of surendra sharma sir never during my ug i i never knew this particular herb existed so i learned it from surendra sharma sir all thanks to sir started uh, you know using it left and right in my practice after that uh, especially after this case
Yes, Kita. Madam, our voice is not audible. Yes, please. Yeah. Madam, you are not audible, ma'am. Pushkala, ma'am. Maybe there's some network issue with madam, I think, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, madam, uh, until Madam E joins, so I request uh, uh, other participants uh, by the who are having the experience in endometriosis and uh, adenomyosis and with your success story. After that, uh, kindly make your uh, small note and share because it will inspire many, many more uh, doctors to treat and, uh, endometriosis and uh, adenomyosis. Ma'am, are you rejoined? Ma'am, you are on mute, ma'am. Three, ma'am, just called me saying that uh, the line was lost. Uh, I, I can't. Can, can, <laughs> no, it was lost. I I, I got it, ma'am. Maybe there's some issue with the uh, network and call Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So this was this one thing. Uh, I think. Uh, I think Ma'am, you were saying about uh, Mundi, ma'am, um, like using of uh, MD4 and all. So, yes. Yes. Uh, so from so, there, uh, you please yeah, start, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, ma 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 resound question. Resound question, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Ma'am, you are Now it is audible. Ma'am, you are How do you mute? How do mute? How do you mute? How do you mute? How do you mute? One second. Ma'am, is it clear? Yes. Okay. So after that, I... Uh, oh, ma'am, ma are you seeing the slide, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yeah. yeah. So this is uh, something, ma'am. Uh, Surendra Sharma, sir, used to use uh, uh, MD4 in many cases, as Nasya he used to use, uh, uh, sorry, Mundi Kaila, as Nasya used to use, uh, as Kashaya we used to use, in many forms we were using and uh, having very good result. And uh, this was one very good case. This is a case of ovarian cyst, uh, though it's not, uh, you know, uh, this we are talking about endometriosis, I thought I'll just show, because here when we see that there is no evidence of internal separation, we understand that it's a simple cyst. Even though it is mentioned or not, we, we can understand it is a simple cyst. And uh, the right ovary uh, was, uh, you know, measuring uh, 80, uh, you know, the ovary was measuring 177 cc. This was on July 6, 2020. Uh, it was measuring uh, 171 cc and uh, cyst was measuring 88 cc. And uh, the next report, the patient took a little bit late because the pain relief was very much there. So she did not go on for next report immediately. 6 to 2021, 20, the report, another report is seen. And here you see that the right ovary is 49 cc. Instead of 171 cc, it became 49 cc. And uh, the cyst, which was 88 cc, became 18 cc. So here 
we go for katupacha kadravyas and we also use lekhana uh, vasti here this is a case of uh, again endometriotic cyst if you see the right ovary is very large 10.3 into 6.2 uh, centimeter in November uh, 2022, then again, sorry, 2020. And this is uh, December 2020, Jan 2021. Three reports I have given. So it's a pretty large elementary odd exist. You see that uh, it's almost again 176 cc uh, volume cyst was there. It is 8.8 .8 into 6.4 into 5.5. It became 7 into 6.4 after this November 27. So one week after Lake Anavasti, I have taken the scanning, it has immediately reduced. 8th January, again, we went after uh, another Vasti. So, you know, we saw that there's a increase in, uh, I mean, decrease in volume. There's a very mild uh, increase in size, uh, but uh, decrease in volume was there. And then uh, the second cyst, which was around, uh, uh, you know, uh, 20 cc or something, it was again 11 cc. And uh, this patient went on to have a normal pregnancy also and normal delivery. This is again one more case of adenomyosis, uh, endometriotic, sorry, and, and suggestive totally adenomyosis is regressed in the second scan. This is taken on 21, 2023, 20, and the next one is April 2023. 20, so you see that uh, uh, uterus shows non homogeneous myometrial echo. Whenever we see non homogeneous myometrial echo, we understand there is a adenomyosis. Posterior myometrium is 2.3 mm thicker than the anterior myometrium. So whenever there is adenomyosis, you see that endometrium also, sorry, myometrium is not uniform. One side is thicker than the other side. So that is seen. There is a endometriosis cyst also which is seen. Here again, when you come back uh, to the after report, you see that, uh, uh, you know, the totally uh, uterus becomes normal uterus is uh, very normal here the uterine size is 11.5 into 4.2 into 6.2 which has become 8.7 into 4.1 it is not given a third uh, you know measurement we have to give length breadth, breadth and height but uh, maybe the scanning report is different okay so uh, you know this is a patient from chennai we did uh, lekhanavasti and uh, this is the result so that's all with adenomyosis and endometriosis. And uh, coming to other uh, forms, we see that uh, with uh, with Yoni Prakshalana also, there are very good results. Yoni Prakshalana, Dupana Pichu, if you keep also, very good results are there. One case of adenomyosis where I did Yoni Prakshalana, uh, we saw some weird strands of uh, discharge coming. Uh, I'll show that also one minute. You know, because I really don't know what it is, but uh, one second. Very good result. And uh, after the after the treatment of Lekhanavasti and uh, one week of Yoni Prakshalana and Yoni Pichu, the patient had a total remission, total remission of uh, uh, this one, you know, uh, adenomyosis. See, see this? I really don't know what it is, but if you see, it was a very thick, uh, you know, a tissue kind. See this edge? In this edge, can you see as if it is torn from somewhere? Doctor, there's connection now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We can see it. Sorry, uh, because no, I was confused. Ma no, ma'am. It's uh, clearly visible, ma'am. This is the uh, second, 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 second day. Second day. See this? See this? In this, this yeah. yeah. See this area? This area. Uh, ma'am, ma Echo. Savitri, ma'am, please. Uh. Okay. See, we see that, uh, see this edge, can you see there is little uh, blood kind of thing is there as if it is torn from some tissue. 
this was the second day see it was almost this one finger length this was coming out on the second day so every day we started taking the pick again this is the third day it, it got thinner but still it was very much there and this is the fourth day again no sorry this is the second day pick only so three four days we got such one the first day only it was very big i was i was literally scared uh it, it fell down in no, the bucket where we, you know that. after picture it just falls no, down no ma'am huh? not see, not able to see ma'am So, the moment it fell down in the bucket, you know, uh, I was so scared to see water just coming out. Immediately, I took it out. I uh, you know, sent pics to many of the known doctors, seniors and all. Nobody knew what it was. So, after that, I started recording such cases. Many of my friends came back and uh, because, uh, you know, many, many of my UG classmates, uh, uh, call me uh, to ask about gynec cases or to show some some of the cases some you know very interesting cases we discuss so in those cases one of my friend from kollam kerala she again uh, after one month of sharing this she came back saying that she also had some weirdish uh, you know discharge from a patient it was like a fecal matter literally like a fecal matter there was no other uh, you know um, fistula was not there but it was uh, you know weirdish stuff which came out and uh, that was the case of dysmenorrhea and uh, after prakshalna dupana pichu the patient actually got well so sometimes i think uh, i really fail to understand what it is and i really fail to explain you what it is but this is something which i saw in a patient and then uh, after one week there is total remission of adenomyosis ma'am uh, yeah hi I actually wanted to send it, fell down into the tub. So when I called, uh, mm -hmm. one of my uh, seniors suggested that. But after it fell down into that, no, they said there is no use in sending. Okay, okay. Yeah. So because at that okay. time I was working for SDM. So immediately I got, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of my uh, known doctors who were uh, who was HOD in, uh, uh, you know, uh, Roganidana. She suggested that I can send. She gave me the number. When I called that, uh, the doctor said it is not useful because it's already uh, contaminated. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because when okay. we do Prakshala, it's already mixed up. It is falling down. All these things. So. Yes, ma'am. And that was the only case I saw. Till now, I have never seen such a case. But it was very um, different. A unique experience, that's all. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So that's all for my presentation. And, um, I think uh, that uh, whatever you have shown, no, ma'am, from yes, my ma side, I feel it is um, endometrium only. Ma'am, but in South of it is torn from some place, ma'am. I was, uh, I failed to understand, ma'am. So it was very thick. If you touch it also, right? It's not a mucoid one. It is. It was pretty thick, like a tissue. Yes, ma'am. It ma was a different uh, one, ma'am. Yeah. Why I am sharing this one, ma'am? Because. Uh, uh, just uh, after my marriage, I got the same piece like this only. Oh, uh, just after uh, two or uh, three months of post marriage, okay. I was confused. Uh, I got aborted, or uh, because uh, it is after two or th I think one week later, I got periods, and after that, I got normal periods. And I went to my gynec gynecologist saying this, uh, whatever happened, she told me it is endometrium. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. I got the same, and it is thick also. Whatever yes. you have shown, no same picture. Yes. I got uh, recollected okay. actually okay, okay, from okay. my past. Yeah. Good to know, ma'am. Uh, you know, I yeah, was thinking I never, what yeah, is And ma moreover, I never had that later, ma'am. That was the only one same incident, and so with the same uh, so this length also. Oh, okay, yes. okay, 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 ma'am. Yeah. Good to know, ma'am. At least there's an answer for my uh, search. That's all. <laughs> That's why I wanted to show you, even though it is not. But, uh, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. ma'am, till now, I never knew. Because I asked so many people, shared it with so many doctors. They said, there's no possibility of something coming out like this. But it came out. Now yeah, it came out. It fell down. What to do? No, not uh, by one. Because uh, during my like the first day of periods, I had severe pain. And uh, after that, I got this. Yeah. Okay, okay, ma'am. Yeah. 
Uh, I too had a case, ma'am. Uh, of uh, the uh, the girl was studying in tenth standard. Uh, it was just beginning of my practice, ma'am. Actually, me too was not knowing about uh, this. Uh, actually, the girl was menstruating since from one year, ma'am. I mean, daily she used to uh, she used to change the pads for uh, two times a day, ma'am. Uh, but uh, they came they came from uh, twenty kilometers away from my place, and uh, I too was not knowing much about uh, regarding uh, the, such cases, ma'am. So. Uh, when I, uh, I mean, uh, while I was giving uh, treatment, like uh, she was, uh, she was bleeding heavily, uh, like uh, two pads daily. Once it was soaking completely, it seems, ma'am. Then um, I went, I went for uh, investigation and all everything. Everything was normal. But uh, one day she said she, uh, I mean, there was something fall, uh, fall from her uh, this one. And uh, when I actually have uh, I've taken that pic, ma'am, but I don't know, uh, it's somewhere uh, in my laptop. But uh, if possible, I'll share it someday, ma'am, uh, by two or three days. Uh, it was very thick, and uh, um, they were asking me regarding like. Was she, uh, had had she con, uh, conceived or something like but nothing like uh, like that it was ma'am but uh, when I sent for the histopathology they said it was endometrium only ma'am I, uh, I I I had said them like if there is uh, if uh, if there is, uh, if it, uh, it uh, the fallen part had should be I mean uh, it should be preserved in uh, like a box and all uh, they preserved it properly and uh, they had taken it to the uh, uh, lab ma'am and. Uh, uh, from that, uh, we got to know that it was uh, an endometrium only, ma'am. So, it was one of my experience. So, you were explaining regards. I wanted to tell you uh, in between, but I wanted uh, uh, the session to be uh, completed, ma'am. Mm, anyways, thank you so much for the wonderful explanation, ma'am. We got to know m uh, much new things from you today. And uh, the session is open for discussion now. Uh, anyone uh, interested can uh, ask queries or uh, share their experiences. Ma'am, please. Thank you, Sankar. Yeah, yeah ma'am. Uh, it is my question, like uh, you have shared, no? we were insist with the big, uh, that much of uh, one seventy-eight centimeter yes, volume and something. Whether they have not gone for any shock or like because it creates more, more of pressure in lower abdomen, you know, ma'am. How they are able yeah. to distinguish one, ma'am? Uh, no, ma'am. When the patient uh, came, she had severe pain uh, while walking and also while, uh, you know, straining herself. Or else while sitting, she was kind of okay and lying down, she was kind of okay. But there was constant pain. I had taken uh, consent and then only I started with uh, Lekhan Vasti. On the first day of Vasti itself, the pain was gone, ma'am. Uh, I have uh, taken a consent and explained that she may go into torsion, ovarian torsion, and we may have to take for immediate surgery. After informing that only, I have taken the case, ma'am. So uh, in that case, uh, immediately, uh, you know, there is a pain relief. So sometimes we think, ma'am, generally when I present this case, also one question, what I ask, uh, you know, even the prosthetic PGs when we give a talk, because anywhere if this goes into any institution, uh, be it Ayurveda or anything, be it when it goes into an institution, such kind of case will be taken 100% for surgery. There is no question on that uh, because it is so huge. 176 volume is a very huge volume. Immediately they will say it's an emergency and they'll take for surgery uh, somewhere. Uh, you know, I had a belief that it will reduce. And then, of course, uh, uh, I was in hospital setup. Dr. Pramodhani, my friend, was there. You know, she said, okay, you do, ma'am. If there is something, we will manage with surgery, you know. Uh, that backup was there for me. So I could take up. Uh, there were two cases. One is 171 cc also I have taken up. 176 cc also I had taken up. Both of which responded very beautifully. And uh, there was, uh, yes, the reduction was gradual. It took almost six months for her to con no seven months for her to conceive, but uh, she actually uh, for her reduction itself was a boon. Conception was uh, you know it was uh, it was kind of shock for us. Uh, after that, uh, she went on to have a very normal pregnancy and uh, had a normal uh, vaginal delivery also. Super, ma'am. 
like because we never think of it uh, that much big uh, sister yes, yes. Uh, we can do something because uh, another question linked to this when we are having the this much big uh, this thing ma'am sister can we go for with uh, yoga basti or something to have chosen have altered uh, uh, with uh, no, i i go for lekhan basti yoga basti only ma'am thank you sir surendra sharma sir only i have to say thank you <laughs> thank you Sir, 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 joined us five yes. minutes. Yeah, ma. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Sir, I was telling your formulation also that uh, uh, Tila 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 Krishna Tila Sugar and uh, Lotus Seed. Lotus Seed. So many patients it, gave. It, Thank you very it, much, sir. It, it, it's it's not my combination. It's a classical one only. Sir, there are thousands and lakhs of classical combinations, sir. But uh, mm -hmm. only few we know and these are some uh, you know these are some gems that you have given to us sir thank you very much sir no again i am writing sarva santu nirama part 2 oh superb sir <laughs> it is almost near completion only superb sir sir what it is sir ha uh, it is a book of uh, simple remedies from the classical books Wow, sir, we are waiting. Arkapushu yoga is from that only. Yeah, yeah. First part, Arkapushu yoga is there. Sir, we want sir then. Definitely, because, definitely. Yes, sir, because all are there. You were uh, this thing known as sir. The experience, uh, this one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the quantity of uh, Tila Tila, Krishna Tila, and uh, Krishna Tila and uh, Lotus? Equal Sri quantity. Sachin. Equal all quantity. Are... Okay, yeah. Sir. first of all when uh, when sir told this i had so many doubts i was uh, asking sir continuous so how is it sir it's having heavy bleeding energy is there you are asking me to give krishna tila how is it possible karke sir said you go and read first karke then uh, it is actually mentioned in uh, uh, second month or first month of abortion also as a treatment it is mentioned sir so yeah. then uh, yeah i was having so many doubts when you told this Then I understood. No, no, it is from Surendra Sharma sir. Blindly believe it. That's all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Wonderful, ma'am. Thank you. Ma and what are the basti? Chara uh, basti you given, no, ma'am, for this. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. I I <laughs> have given uh, uh, lekha na basti. Uh, generally, basti. that there's a formula I share to many doctors here. Also, I've shared. So I use uh, uh, sometimes if it is. Uh, Mainly pitta prakriti. I use uh, 50 ml of MD4 tila, 50 ml of uh, varna digrita, or else full 100 ml MD4 tila for anvas vasti. I use for uh, kashai vasti. I have. Uh, I generally go for uh, asana di kwata churna or trifala kwata churna. That I use uh, uh, along with that uh, in preparing kashaya itself. I put uh, chincha, five uh, ten gram, and then I also add shatapushpa lakshana to that only. As a kalkidravya, I add uh, five gram of yavakshara, and uh, thaila I use MD4 thaila only, and uh, five ml of uh, five gram of uh, sainthava and fifty ml of uh, honey I use. In this, if possible, if you are getting a good uh, gomutra, thirty ml gomutra also we use. Ma. This is the combination I have been using. Many people, uh, uh, I think, if. Uh, Uh, Subhashni ma'am is there. Ma for ma my patient, I referred that case also. We have seen within one week, uh, there is a three centimeter reduction of fibroid size. So the mm -hmm. result is very fast when you use this combination. Result is very 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 fast. In eighth day itself, I asked the patient to go for a, a scanning. Ma'am, you saw eleven point seven centimeter uterus reduced to seven point or some eight point something. Yeah, within yeah. Week, so immediate result will be there. Within one uttara vasti only we had uh, the result. Yes, ma'am. Lekhan vasti. Yes, ma Lekhan vasti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Super, that combination is very good, ma'am. Uh, uh, so many doctors I have shared, and everybody is getting very good result with this. Ma'am, please repeat it once again. Please repeat, ma'am. Uh, I'll share Very the group good. also, ma'am. Okay. Uh, okay. I I generally go for uh, uh, yoga vasti. So for one first, second, fourth. Sixth, eighth days I give anvasana vasti with hundred ml MD four thaila. Then third, fifth, and the seventh day I give uh, kashaya vasti. In kashaya vasti I add five grams and the one fifty ml the honey uh, and then five gram of evakshara. Uh, if you are procuring from a doctor, you can use two point five to three gram. If you are buying from market, you can use five gram. 
uh, Yavakshara and then uh, 20 to 30 ml of Gomutra and for Kashaya I prepare 350 ml of Kashaya. In the Kashaya, uh, in that I use 100 to 120 gram of uh, um, Asanadi Kvathachurna or Trifla Kvathachurna and I use 10 gram of uh, Chincha into that only I will put. Uh, 5, gra 5 to 10 gram of uh, Shatapushpa, 5 to 10 pods of Lashana also I add into that only. If needed, we can also add, uh, go if it is an endometrioma, then we can add Gokshura also in the Kashaya itself. If we can also add Guduchi or EST into the Kashaya itself. So based on the requirement. So this is the Kashaya. Together only I will prepare Kashaya. The Kalkadravya I use only Yavakshara 5 gram. So this will be the Kashaya that I prepare. And uh, in that 80 ml MD4 Thaila, I add was a Thaila for uh, Lekhanavasti. So this is the combination for almost so many years I'm using, ma'am, having except one, one case, I did not get result till now. Except that I've got result in all the cases. Minimum one, two centimeter reduce, aage agathe, 100% agathe. So this is the result. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. It's a really a very nice session, ma'am, to listen here always and with the full knowledge and with full experience, ma'am. Yeah, Thank you. Um, yes, pregnancy along with fibroid in such cases, what can be done? Ma'am? Pregnancy in early fibroids, madam. Ma'am, ma uh, ma see, generally fibroid will grow in pregnancy. Sometimes if it is intramural fibroid, there are chances that it will grow and, uh, uh, you know, uh, affect the growth of fetus also. I have seen multiple fibroid. One of my patients at 45 years, she conceived. I have that case also. I'll show you. Uh, multiple fibroids were there and she conceived. But uh, before conception, we had made sure that the fibroids reduced in size. It was not totally gone. Okay. It had uh, very well reduced in size. Huh? And uh, one second, ma'am. I'll show that case. So this case, ma'am, uh, I don't know if it's clear. Here, uh, the uterus is, the, she had a grade 3 fatty liver and uh, bulky uterus with uh, adenomyosis also and fibroids, multiple fibroids were there. And uh, after our treatment, she conceived. Throughout pregnancy, uh, you know, uh, she had a you know, an eventful pregnancy totally. But around her last trimester, she started feeling heaviness of abdomen and all slightly, you know, that uh, as if, you know, uh, the growth is causing her little breathlessness and all. But then uh, she went on uh, with a good bed rest. She went on and she had a cesarean. So they advised cesarean, but she called me whether to go or not. I said, please, first you go for, go for cesarean. Even while doing Caesarean, uh, no, doctors were like uh, uh, surprised that with this uterus, did you really conceive naturally? So that was her, uh, this one month. Within within a span of six months, she has written, no, it was, oh yeah, almost one year it, it had. Because we were not only treating her uh, for fibroid, it was basically, uh, she had irregular cycle, fibroid, infertility, I was not treating. But then it's a... Uh, as a side effect, we got in, uh, you know infertility also cured because they were even not even looking for pregnancy at that age because with all her she was on antipsychotic drugs also and uh, so much of problems depression was there. We took her out of that uh, with the help of medicines, uh, counseling, uh, music therapy, and then uh, throughout pregnancy there was a minimal growth of fibroid also, but it did not harm her uh, luckily. But uh, in the last trimester uh, we advised her total bed rest. And if, if we find fibroid already coming with pregnancy, if it is, uh, uh, you know, in the lower end, generally we ask her to take good bed rest. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, um, ma uh, you said yes. no Tila, Tila, Tila and Krishna Tila and all. After that, one more uh, treatment, you said Vajra Basma with uh, Vata. Uh, Vata, Churna, uh, Vajrabasma, and yeah, Ashwagandha. Uh, no, how to give, I mean, what is the dose and uh, 
ಅಶೋಕ okay and then next step you said something my experience your experience what you treat i totally missed on that because of network uh, i i generally use vikrant basma ma'am i have not used vajra basma only in one case i had used uh, but uh, long long back i think when i was in my college days i have used uh, but i always use vikrant basma i find it is very good uh, you know uh, affordable also for the patient and uh, that i on that only i use ma'am in any base uh, maybe pushyanuga or uh, avipati karchurna or uh, gokshura guduchi uh, like that any combination based on the condition with that i use 2.5 gram that combination will be 50 gram 2.5 gram of uh, vikranta basma 5 gram of uh, shataputi abraka basma uh, along with that if we need we can add if the bleeding is high we in those cases we also add uh, godanti basma okay. 10 gram also we had okay thank you ma'am ma'am in one of the case uh, you said uh, you used uh, in the first case ma'am you used um, md4 for the uh, as pichu ma'am so for how many days uh, did you perform i mean did you advise pichu ma'am no that, that no, was not that the was first this was in uh, uh, the, this case was in white field during my white field days of practice uh, when i came to bangalore i started using uh, md i mean uh, mundi taila basically after meeting surendra sharma sir so it was uh, way back in 2008 9 i started using uh, mundi so this was after some 8 9 years but uh, this immediate effect within one month the patient conception and then the total healing of the whole ovarian mass uh, that was a you know surprise for me so that's what i was telling that was the first time i said oh my god this is having it is so powerful that by that time i started preparing it as md4 rather than plain mundi so uh, that time i started giving to my uh, all my known friends and all for trials ma'am in that case for how many days did you uh, give uh, pichu ma'am i told it to one month and come back, and come back. she came back she came back quickly <laughs> okay thank you um and uh, ma'am i have an i had seen a patient actually yes, so it's it was not dysmenorrhea she used to she had a regular cycle no problem with the cycles and all but she used to get a uh, severe pain during ovulation that's what she said like 15 days before the cycle or in the mid of the cycle and with a greenish yellowish discharge so i thought uh, i mean little only so just staining of the inner garments uh, so i had just treated with sukumara kashaya and basic line of things uh, but she had got good results then i was a uh, fresher then so i didn't know much whatever i knew only was sukumara kashaya so i gave that but she felt good uh, i mean i just want to know like everybody would be uh, you know to know about it like what what are such cases like painful ovulation Uh, ma'am there are many cases with painful ovulation and one more thing i'll tell you you said you don't know much but the the beauty of ayurveda is when you don't know the other side allopathic side you'll treat thousand times better than when you know what is the other side you know uh, when i treated uh, cellulitis i never knew it was so dangerous i treated because i say oh, it is as i saw it as uttana vata rakta so that is the beauty of ayurveda when you see or through ayurvedic lens it's much more easier to treat than you see with you know complicated modern lens so uh, that's the best medicine ma'am generally we give uh, sukumaram and uh, dhanvantaram gutika only during ovular pain many people will have uh, ovular pain nowadays it is increasing also what will happen when when the ovulation occurs along the egg will get released and the uh, uh you know graphene follicle will release little liquid that's why after ovulation when you see the scan in pouch of douglas you see uh minimal fluid plus that report will be written that fluid is from the graphene follicle which has released the egg so when this fluid is forming sometimes the ovary will be high ovary will be hypersensitive to that 
so that the moment it falls over the ovary it will get pain so that's the pain that we feel during ovulation that may last for one two days because the fluid will last for one two days in the pouch of douglas so till that is there the pain may be there it is not inflammatory and all it is just a reaction of the ovary to the fluid or any external irritation that's all what might be the cause ma'am like before they wouldn't have had that so all of a sudden they develop and uh, after a few months again it will not be there so uh, what would be the cause no ma'am there is no particular cause according to me it is only vata only uh, or else the pain should not be there uh, okay so general drain of treatment what i give is also vata around it a sudden hypersensitivity that is my question uh, you, know, you cannot give such a reason see what will happen the same body will react in a different way right uh, so it's not about how sudden i was it's about maybe vata vritti in those months we don't know if you take a if you dig a detail history we'll see vata vritti in those months maybe okay and um, we were uh, we were discussing about the endometriotic uh, tissue no ma'am i had a case like where the patient had severe pain on her fourth day and not very big as uh, you showed like it was very tiny like uh, she had shown me the pictures so some 3 to 4 cm or 2 to 3 cm so once it got released uh, she used to get relief during every cycle every fourth day artavasa vimukte tu tatkshanam labate sukham yeah yeah yes ma'am exactly so f- usually it will be like the initial days of the cycle will be painful for her it was not so only when the tissue was out then uh, she used to get the relief and she had a very tough time about some half an hour to one hour yes, yes. that's all one thing what i would definitely tell is many of us here i see we many of us are female practitioners whatever it is if we get a endometriotic uh, case if you have suspected go for a proper pervaginal and perspiculum examination so that you start noting down the intensity of it or the uh, extent of spread so that when you when you do a pervaginal examination after treatment we will know what is the difference so the more we do those examinations the more we will get used to feeling this within you know within one two examinations itself and uh, ma'am and one more aspect like um, uh, what would you say about the para variances affecting the cycles regularity para variances generally will not affect the regularity of the cycle as such ma'am that's what i was uh, hearing with everybody yeah. but one case uh, uh, like uh, the lady had uh, para variances about 8.3 cm 8.3 cc of fluid accumulation it was a simple cyst okay. so everybody would say like it is not affecting the thing and theoretically also but yes. then she used to get uh, cycles every 45 days okay uh, it was regular but cycle was 45 days when okay. she had conceived and then she had a child she had got a lss okay. so then they removed the cyst also okay. from then the cycles are regular see one thing many people have regular cycle after delivery okay see there are many things if we see uh, you know pinpointedly there will be no answer for example there are uh, i had a case this i shared in the class also i had a case where the patient was getting severe pain monthly cyclic pain will be there no period at all not even a drop of blood severe pain for 2 3 days sir. she will she will literally uh, shiver have fever vomiting that pain will be unbearable like that she'll be uh, around around late 30s early 40s lady i didn't know what it was i didn't even go for investigation said, okay vata is there it's not coming out let us give anulomana i gave her sukumaram kashayam with uh, danvantram 101 uh, drops and danvantram uh, tablets that's all we have given little abhyanga i asked her to take i asked her to correct her uh, diet and life cycle next time she got her periods there was no pain very mini very minimal pain you know as if it's just not there so sometimes it is very difficult to ask why it is and i think we should though we read all these things we should go back into basic saying yeah what are we seeing is it vata pitta or kapha that's all we have to see 
Yes, ma'am. Not expecting pinpoint answer, but just like discussing because the platform yes, is for no. As such, if you see, there is no no uh, relation between uh, para ovarian cyst and uh, this one. Yes, in those cases, if we see, according to Ayurveda, it is a granthi only. So there will be some involvement of kapha. There may be chances of derangement. Yeah. You understand, right? So in that case, there are cases where we have a regular cycle also with para ovarian cyst. So, uh, very, you know, very difficult. I think it is case to case based only. Yes, ma'am. So I just wanted to understand, yes, like, no, no. Why I am telling this is, doctor. Sometimes we will not even get answers. <laughs> this is such cases. Well, I told you this case. This lady at, at forty years, she never had any relief with whatever medicine she has taken. With Sukumaram Gashayam, Darmantram Gudika, she got relief. So it it is maybe the principle only that we have to hold on. That's all. Yes, ma'am. This is so weird, is you know. We will not know what is the answer. Even for the painful ovulatory thing, I said. Even for her, I had given. He, she had roamed uh, many hospitals, many specialities, and all. Only with Sukumara Kashaya, and I don't remember what I had given. And I had put her on Chatavari Rasayan also because she was very weak and all. So she was all fine within two to three months of uh, this thing. Nice, nice. So just uh, doshic uh, analysis. That's all. That's all uh, we end up giving is that's all only. No, no. Nice. ஆயுர்வேத <laughs> Ma'am, audio audio is not clear, ma'am. Is it not is clear? Not clear? Yeah, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Maybe uh, uh, the fault is from your side, Ishtar. And now it's clear. And now it's clear. Yeah. Every Wednesday, I go for uh, I go to Ayurved Med Clinic in Whitefield. Uh, or else, I do only online consultation, doctor. Online consultation. Okay. Actually, she is my colleague, ma'am. <laughs> so just I ask. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, you can give my number. You can ask her to call me, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. I think Dr. Halam raised the hand. Yes, ma'am. Halam, madam, had raised the hand. Yes, ma'am. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste, ma'am. Ah, uh, ma'am, madam, madam, head side, then na ovulatory period is pain. Sometimes agate, sometimes agala de. There may be a decrease in her pain threshold capacity due to apathy, ahara, vihara in those days. True. That's my thought. That uh, and also uh, Rajasthala chera maintain mat dera dunu. Yiga ovulatory period le pain bora do may be common in our area. Amale we need one workshop on uh, PV examination. As you said that in UG you didn't get that much cases. Uh, we are yes. also UG. So please one workshop for PV mm. examination. Definitely. okay thank you ma'am uh, ma'am generally when we conduct a camp for uh, any maybe cervical cancer like that if we pull few doctors i can show because number of cases the more you do only within one day you can understand ma'am it's about number of cases so one one case when we show no it won't be clear because first i still remember the first time when i did pv nothing only some slushy thing that's all nothing uh, was understood I didn't even know what was uh, happening there so it is it is uh, you know repeat examination ma'am for that when we conduct a camp for uh, either uh, infertility or white discharge like that when we conduct a camp we get such cases we can do pv lots of pvs we can do ma'am so the more we do one like that when we come and uh, do no ma'am it will be much more easier ma'am then thank you uh, people can learn oh thank you so much like in the groups ma'am whenever you do some camps so that we will try to join not yes. trying will come and join <laughs> yes ma'am so hope uh, all the doubts are cleared and the discussion was fabulous today uh, ashokuntla ma'am would you like to add something for this 
Namaste ma'am. Namaste ma'am. Namaste ma'am. It is a really wonderful listing uh, understanding of endometriosis and adenomas, and you have given a um, clear picture of allopathy side and Ayurveda part, and uh, and we, um, very surprised to see the cases you have treated in that um, uh, risky cases we never think of, and that because I have seen the cases with uh, uh, this uh, surgery, this thing only. Uh, one of my relatives having huge uh, ovarian cyst, immediately they have done the uh, op yes. uh, operation now. And, uh, so, and we got confidence after your uh, session now. We can um, treat up to the uh, Mention one thing, as you mentioned surgery, I forgot to mention because we have also seen ma'am, people who undergo surgery and come, the proliferation of endometriotic mass is high. Because it is a cancer kind of mass. The moment you touch it, it will increase more. That people don't understand. They come after surgery to us. That's a patchy situation where it keeps on proliferating, ma'am. So, uh, you know, whenever you know a case of endometriosis, the first thing is no surgery. That's the first thing I think uh, we should avoid, ma'am. So many cases, uh, mm -hmm. one of my friend, I lost my friend for uh, uh, cervical uh, cancer. Like uh, she had endometriotic cyst. She, she did three, four surgeries in Vijayawada and then um, uh, it spread uh, and it, she got to see and then she, we lost her. Uh, so she was my, uh, uh, you know, school classmate, school junior basically, very close friend of mine. So I kept on telling to come to Hyderabad that time when I was there, but uh, the family issues, she also could not make it. Uh, the moment you do surgery, it keeps on spreading, ma'am. That's the worst part of endometriosis. You are exactly right, ma'am. Uh, whoever I, I shared my relative, you know, she ended up with uh, not cancer, but uh, she after that, uh, they had advised a hysterectomy, ma'am. Yes. After the surgery, yes, ma'am. Second, they have to wait. That was the thing. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, over to Dr. Savitri. And uh, thank you, thank you so much. Whenever we are Pushka, this thing. Uh, yeah, Dr. Savitri. Uh, uh, Prasuti, this ma'am, ma'am, you are there. We are having that uh, uh, back support, no, ma'am. Thank uh, you. We never think. Pushkala, madam, is there. That is the thing. And uh, your backbone of uh, Ross group for uh, total uh, Prasuti corner, ma'am. Because it. all we are, uh, yes, ma'am. We all will learn, ma'am. Like every step every we step keep learning, ma'am. Thank you. Very Thank true, ma'am. Always I used to say, Ross has gems. Uh, just, we, we need to search. Ashta, ma'am, every time, other health, because I am new to uh, Ross group, but um, as and when uh, uh, we are uh, moving uh, moving forward, uh, we are uh, knowing where are the gems, like Shubhavangla, madam, I too, Neev, I too, Thumba Channa, Gilly, or Gunne, all the topics, we have all the topics, we have all the topics, we have all the topics, because in this group, we have all the beginners, madam, Thumba Channa, this is the point of view, we have all the topics, we have all the topics, and you have all the topics, and we have all the topics, and we have all the topics, and we have all the topics, so you have a workshop conduct, and you have all the topics, and you have all the topics, I know that I am going to be a big fan of this video. You have a great opportunity to be a big fan of this video. You have a great opportunity to be a big fan of this video. Very rarely, so that's an opportunity to be a big fan of this video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. मतलब तो आधे तरह ही कड़े लड़ों बंद रहे आधे तरह या याद है सही नहीं बोल रहे वन संडे वन द वर्कशॉप मार्टी दूर पर वाकिल है इस टाइम जन क्या दरा करता है इस टाइम क्या दरा आगे मतलब एक अंदर यार ना लाइक फ्लरिशिंग लाइक एनीथिंग इन इ संडे वो इ तरह द वन द मीटिंग सिंदर साक्षात्स I attended ma'am's Uttara Basti workshop. Uh, ma'am has asked me to give review. I'm not given. Sorry, ma'am, I'll give it. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, I'll share it here because Illi more concentrated, um, more oriented people either. Eh? 
ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಯೂಜಲಿ ನಂಗೆ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಯೂಜಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೈನಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಜರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಸೂತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ದು ಗವರ್ನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಗವರ್ನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಪ್ರಸೂತಿ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಉತ್ತರ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ರು ಹೆಂಗ್ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾನು ಇನ್ನೂ ನಂಗೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಸೋ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಅಂತ ದಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಏನತ್ತು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಕೋ ರಿಲೇಟ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಇವಾಗ ಕೇಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಮಾಡಕ್ ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಬರಲ್ವೋ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಷ್ಕಲ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಹೈಲಿ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಇದು ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟೀಚ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಫೆದರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಯಾರು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಮುಗಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಪ್ರಸೂತಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಸೇಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ವೆಜೈನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫೀಲ್ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಫ್ಲೆಶಿ ಫ್ಲೆಶಿ ಏನೋ ಇದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವುಡ್ ಹಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಲಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಶೋಡ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಗುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಹೈಲಿ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆರ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ thank you thank you ma'am nanage uh, this time when we conducted three workshops we got people from chennai uh, bangalore uh, you know karnataka dalli shimoga side inta la bandidara ma'am and uh, there are uh, two three doctors who started practicing uttravasti after attending the uh, you know workshop so adu one thank you thank you very much nivetha ma'am i'm just waiting ma'am <laughs> then again i have anything on there ma'am this ma'am then again i'll be back to back ma'am hello ma'am would you like to add something ma'am sometimes we are still much here and right only through pd we can't do justification for the case actually we need panchakarma idu adre adhe namge en beku experience beku adanna neev kodbek ashe definitely ma'am ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯಾರಾದ್ರೂ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಪೇಶಂಟ್ ಆ ತರದ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಇವ್ರು ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದ್ ಸರಿ ಮೈ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ಲೌಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಏನು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಪರ್ವಜನ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಲಶ್ರಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೈ ಇಟ್ಟಂದಾಗೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವರಿ ದ ಮೋರ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಯು ನೋ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮನ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ಡೂ when you de- deep examine you will find cervix and marga marga i think eventually we will uh, learn is what i think ma'am yaku namage namage opd cases bartta ide yaku bitko beku ma'am hange like just try banto barlu ondu try maadkondre it's an experience only no ma'am okay ma'am okay i will try yes ma'am ishrit would you like to ask any question shashikala ma'am ಕಳಿಸಿದ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಟುಮೋರ್ ಬಟ್ ಏನೋ ಅದೇನೋ ಆಯ್ತು ನೀವ್ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತೀರಾ ಬಟ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಜನ ಒಂದ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡೋಣ ಅಂತ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ ಪೇಶೆಂಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಖುಷಿ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ಲು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ದಿನದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವತ್ತು ನಂಗೆ ಬಂದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಮ್ಮ ನಾಳೆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾನಿಂಗ್ ತನಕ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ 
uh, you will find something, uh, Madam Hair. Yes. So this is on uh, kind of learning and the hair generally. That's oh, very okay. cool, Madam Karayinda. So uh, tomorrow I'll call you back after this. Thank, thank you very much, Mama. I'm really happy. It <laughs> made my day. Back and that. But even then, can can see that I'm not happy at all. But now I'm here and I'm not happy at all. I want to mention one more thing here, Ma'am. नमक ग्रुप नले तुम जरा गोतरन बेस्ट फ्रेंड डॉक्टर बाला त्रिपुरसुंदरी अंता चने नले इतना है मेनी ऑफ यू नो शकुतला पटल मैम एंड ऑल नोस ओके टू डेज बैक शी एंटर्ड इन अ मैरिज एंड इट वाज वेरी स्पेशल टू हर बिकॉज़ दैट वाज द फर्स्ट केस वेर शी गेव वाटी हिता लॉन्ग लॉन्ग मैक वेट इट वाज इन पोटलम फॉर्म ओनली सो इट वाज हर फर्स्ट पेशेंट ऑफ ऑटिज्म शी गेव वाटी हिता टू दैट पेशेंट दैट बॉय वेंट ऑन टू स्टडी वेल ही डिड यू नो डिग्री मारी दाने माइक्रोसॉफ्ट नली वर्क मरता है दाने नाउ टू डेज बैक ही गोट मैरिड एंड शी अटेंडेड दिस मैरिज आल्सो सो दैट वाज अ वंडरफुल मोमेंट बिकॉज़ ये जस्ट बैक व्हेन व्हेन अमृतकला एंड ऑल डिड नॉट फॉर्म क्लिनिक नले हीरो पेशेंट्स के कोटकोंडो 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 15 16 इयर्स इतना कोटा बरो मेड से मेडिसिन मां ऑटीइट इस वन थिंग का सो टुडे इन फेसबुक आई थॉट आई विल अपडेट और मैक्सिमम बाय टुमारो आई अपडेट सो आदो द पेशेंट हु वी सो एस अ स्मॉल बॉय विद ऑटिज्म सफरिंग एंड ऑल देर पेरेंट्स हाउ मच यू नो दैट एजिटेशन एंड फीलिंग दे लाव टुडे यू नो टू डेज बैक व्हेन शी अटेंडेड द मैरेज आई थिं it's not the money, you know. Uh, they may give us that fees. That's all. That's all we get. But that happiness has no boundary at all when we treat mom. That is something which is really very happy. I just because you shared, I wanted to share this because I thought I'll share it today in FB. I couldn't. I was busy doing the Thailand all today. So tomorrow I'll share this case with the video also. Ma'am, Nana, I'm going share my digital picture. Oh, yes, ma'am. निम्न दो स्त्री इता मते एमडी फोटो यूज़ मारे कंसीव आगे द पेशेंट दो बेबी आ दो क्लेफ्ट लिप पंता गुत्ता ही तो अर्ली इधर ले गुत्ता ही तो बट आ दे लारु रेफर मा ये ला कड़े नोडी मारे आ दो बड़ी क्लेफ्ट लिप पस्ते इधे आपेट मारा मिल सरी मार कर ना अंत हेली दे कंटिन्यू एंड शी हैज डेलिवर्ड जन and uh, one more thing is grahana time nalli avaru expose agidrunu cleft lip thumba janarke bartta ide ma'am grahana time nalli effect uh, expose agabardu adondu ide ma'am ade punya ke bari lip matra ide hodu okay thank you ma'am dagide nodi madam okay nartini namma group nalli ma'am oh okay अमेजिंग <laughs> माइंड बॉगलिंग अंदर वाले नहीं ला तो बच्चना के तो सच्चे ना खुशी है तो मैम सो होप दिस